Alright, here we go. Game two. We got Bobby C shooting against Jerry. And on uh, starting out here, we got Earl actually. Now Earl now Earl's not hitting a new a new week for Earl and Earl's Earl's not hitting the uh, the front boards. There we go, Earl. And Earl is pitching against Chris. There's another Chris on here, so they call him too tall. He's about 6'4", 6'5". Thank Rick for uh, welding that uh, scoreboard stand for me. I appreciate that. out of there, Jerry. Stay away from that, Jerry. <laughs> oh, he does it. One we go. Two dead one. that front board there, Earl. You're in business. Everything's golden after that. Too tall? Uh, Chris. Um, he actually pitched in the NHPA up at Beloit this year. I saw him a couple times on the uh, on the roster pitching up there. Um, I think he's. If you look at it, it's Chris from McHenry, Illinois. He lives in, in the city of McHenry with me. So if you look on uh, on the Beloit, some of the Beloit tournaments, you'll see uh, a Chris on there from McHenry, Illinois. And then also, Keith Reed has a septic field in there, too. Chris moved from Indiana, and he came back out here, and then contacted me through... Um, my YouTube. <clears throat> Found me on Facebook and contact me through there. And found him a spot on Golden Town. <clears throat> if you guys are wondering, like last year, um, Roger, I believe he's like 86 or 87 now, uh, that's who's missing tonight. Roger's not with them tonight. Hmm? Sounded like he's healthy, just uh, had other plans, I guess. All right, that's eight to four. So that's, yep, they are on the board and moving. Yeah. Oh, 
Line 40 feet on that one, Howard. You're on. Good shoes. <laughs> gotcha, I got you. All right, Bobby C. Get off that four. They got off the six. You need to get off the four. Perfect. <laughs> Chris is like, man. Oh, went to the first bell ring. <laughs> Too late, it's mine. Oh, son of a... <laughs> <laughs> He let it. He let it go, and it was halfway through the year, I guess. I think so. No circus music. It's got to be a clean shoe to be a circus shoe. And that whole circus, the, the circus music with the circus shoe, um, that started out with uh, from Chris from from Boomy. Bolts on in the Boomers team. <laughs> Chris, Chris was getting pissed off. He's like, stupid Chris. Stupid, stupid circus shoes. <laughs> that is, I've been That's precision And that's how things uh, things get started. Somebody just says something, and oh, right next door, Jack. Now every time we hear when we see that circus shoe go on, we all start humming their circus circus music. <laughs> If you see Bobby C with that hat on, he's uh, oh, <clears throat> that is that is the only old river in river rat <laughs> baseball cap. I've had that. I've had that hat. I think for since 2013. Actually, maybe even maybe even earlier than that. But uh, I don't I don't wear hats. So give it to Bobby C. He liked it. He wears it every now and again. Good timing with that one. Cooler out today, this week, compared to last week. Wrong side. And uh, yeah. the slight difference might be uh, Bobby C's uh, hoodie. I hate wearing jackets or any kind of hoodie or anything like that. Just seems to push my elbow away from my body. I can't. I gotta keep my elbow close to my body. And layers pushes it out. 
That makes me feel bad. Oh, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> She's wrapping it around the wrong stake. We gotta get this game back here. It's 14 to 10. In favor of the bad guys. So Golden Shoes has the 14. This could be a good one. Oh, I'm hoping, hoping for a miss. Oh, yeah, that's that down nicely. Come on, Earl. Find that 40, buddy. Same thing as like uh, the, his last. Is that 40 or 41? His last. Yeah, yeah, definitely 41. Chris, Chris is trying to walk it up there. Hey! <laughs> Come on, Bobby C. Don't give it to him. Oh, you don't have to do it. Take it easy. It's only a game, Bobby. It's only a game. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Jerry doesn't reset and put this one on. He's been uh, getting his second shoe. Well, oh, he missed his second shoe. That's good for us. Think about it. You guys usually throw your first shoe on or your, or your second shoe if you're going to throw a single ringer. I think I tend to throw... I tend to throw my first one on and then overthink my second one usually. And if you want to be honest, I, right, never say die, I have more open pits nowadays. No, you but I will, uh, I'll be working on that. Still the beginning of the season. Still, still we're running around trying to figure things out. Like this week, uh, after, after this uh, second week, um, I haven't done any practicing. I actually uh, skipped subbing for Bobby's team on his Tuesday week because we had a stain. I spent all week staying in my deck. We had a gazebo which has uh, 14 screens, all wooden screens. We're taping all the screens off, staining the uh, surrounding wood frame. And, uh, 
that's taking up my day, especially work, you know, working uh, around about 55 hours a week. And come home, try to do that. And then try to fit in this. <laughs> Recording the games and narrating the games. Then I have to upload the games. What are you talking about? Yeah, the hookers. Yeah, it's, it's, this is a this is a big thing. Usually, it's uh, two and a half hours yes. just just to record these, these videos. Put the narration in, and so I'm basically watching the all the games over again, and it's usually about around or about two and a half hours if I did it all at once. <clears throat> but the thing is, I don't have I don't have enough room on my uh, phone that I'm recording with, so I have, I have to do three and then upload them, delete them all. Upload three more, you know, record three more, then upload them. I'm going to get the straight edge on this one. Game over, 21-11. So we're one and one on this, guys. Rick and I won, and then uh, Earl and Bobby C lost. So starting off pretty good. And Scoopy can't uh, switch things up. Come back in games three and four, and uh, get a few more wins. Thanks for watching.